This slide presents the formulas to determine the compressive strength, tensile strength and design strength of the concrete based on Europe Code 2. First, we look into the compressive strength. There are two types of compressive strength. One is mean compressive strength, another one is characteristic compressive strength. In the design of pre-stressed concrete, there will be transfer stage and service stage. Normally, the pre-stressed load is applied while the concrete is still developing its compressive strength. Therefore, it is important for us to determine the strength of concrete at a particular day during the transfer stage. This is the formula to determine the mean compressive strength at T day. It is in the functions of SCM, which is the mean compressive strength at day 28. The FCN can be obtained by the characteristic compressive strength of concrete plus 8 megapascal. Based on the concept of normal distributions, this will be the FCM and this will be the FCK. For you to determine the FCM, that will be FCK plus 8 megapascal as represented by formula here. Then, for the mean compressive strength at any specific day, the FCM is to be multiplied with a factor. The factor beta CC is given with the formula here. T represents the day of the concrete age. And the S here is dependent on the cement class. You need to know the strength class of the cement and also the type of the cement, whether it is normal cement or rapid hardening cement. Substitute the relevant value into the equations. You obtain the factors. That factors is to be multiplied with FCM that will be the mean compressive strength at T day. As for the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete, when the concrete age is more than 28 days, FCKT will be equals to FCK, which is the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete. However, for the T within the range of 3 days to 28 days, you will need to obtain the FCMT as discussed here to be minus with 8 megapascal, which is in accordance to the concept of the normal distributions. Next, we look into the tensile strength of the concrete. FCT represents the uni-axial tensile strength, while FCTSP represents the splitting tensile strength of cylinder. Based on the result of the splitting tensile strength of the cylinder, which is multiplied with a factor of 0 0.9, it is considered as the uni-axial tensile strength. FCTM here means the mean tensile strength of the concrete at day 28. It can be determined by these two equations depending on the concrete grade. For the concrete grade less than 50 MPa, this equation is used. For concrete grade more than 50 MPa, this equation is being used. It is basically a correlation between the compressive strength of the concrete and also the mean compressive strength of the concrete. These two equations is for you to determine the FCTM at day 28. 
for the day other than 28, which is T day, the FCTMT can be obtained by multiplying uh, factors with the FCTM. The FCTM can be obtained here, and the factor beta CCT can be obtained here which is dependence on the type of the cement. As for the alpha here, if T is less than 28 days, alpha will be equals to 1. If T is equals to 28 days and more, the alpha will be equals to 0 0.667. The mean flexural tensile strength can be determined by using this formula, which is the maximum value of these two. And then there will be the upper and lower characteristic tensile strength. FCTK 0 0.95 and FCTK 0 0.05 can be represented by the diagram for the normal distributions, one at each side of the mean value. Both of them separate the 5% and 95% of the normal distribution's curve area that differentiate the larger and smaller areas. As for the design strength, the design composite strength of the concrete is determined by this formula as represented by FCD which is the FCK divided by partial factor of safety of the material times a coefficient alpha CC. For normal case, the coefficient alpha CC is equal to 1.0. As for the partial factors of safety of the concrete, it is dependent on the design situations. For the normal applications, the factor is 1.5. The definitions of persistence and transience is given here. As for the design tensile strength of the concrete, it is basically the alpha CT times FCTK 0.05 divided by partial factor of safety of the concrete. For the normal case, alpha CT will be equals to 1.0. For normal situations, the gamma C will be equals to 1.5. FCTK 0.05 can be obtained from the formula here, which require FCTM, which you need to refer to the equation here for day 28. And in case that for the day other than day 28, you need to refer to the equation here. What you see from the list of the equation here, the most basic properties of the concrete will be FCM and also FCK. With the FCM and FCK, we are able to determine the other properties of the concrete, such as FCTM, which subsequently can be used to derive FCTK 0.05, and also to the design strength of the concrete.